please do not use what you learn in this video for evil. This video is for educational purposes only. My name is Gray PTC and welcome to my official chat GPT video that will introduce you to the world of chat GPT from the absolute basics where we're going to create an account together and start using chat GPT for different scenarios. A lot of you guys have seen me use chat GPT for dating, for writing scripts, to writing code and so many other things. And you'll be like, oh, how can we use this technology to our own advantage as well? So this video is exactly that. If you're new to my channel, I recommend that you subscribe because more videos like this will keep on coming and also like the video obviously for the YouTube algorithm. I do a lot of crazy adventures with ChatGPT that you would like to watch. So before we get started, it's very important for you to understand what ChatGPT is. ChatGPT stands for Chat Generative Pre-Trained Transformer. It is a chatbot developed by OpenAI. This is a company that has been created to basically advance artificial intelligence. ChatGPT is basically an AI bot that is optimized to communicate in a human-like way. Imagine a chatbot, any other chatbot or a language model that is just optimized for human-like interaction. You know how human beings interact with computers or machines? We need to write code. Code is very difficult and boring to write. But this time around, ChatGPT is allowing us to ask a robot to create something that we want, but we're using our human language and then it is able to create that for us. So it might seem a little bit over there a little bit conspiracy theory, but I think you understand the moment we start using ChatGPT right now in this video. So let's get into it right now. For you to start using ChatGPT, you need to go to openai.com. And from there, at the very top, they have a message that says introducing ChatGPT research release. You can try, you can click on it, and it could take you to the actual website. And I realized that this is not working for everybody because currently this release is limited. In some countries, you might not be able to access it, I was in Qatar for the World Cup and I tried to access it to create an account. It wasn't allowing me. It was saying that it is currently running at capacity. So if I click here, it will basically tell me that ChatGPT is at capacity right now. I should check back later. But the truth is, if you go directly to this link, openai.com forward slash blog forward slash chat GPT, it will take you to the actual website. I'll put the links in the description, by the way, so that you guys can go direct to chat GPT and you click on chat GPT and you can see you have now access to create an account or to log in. So to sign up, you click on the sign up button, put the email address, or you can also simply just use continue with Google or continue with Microsoft to create an account. Here is the capture and continue. And then you have to create a password as well. And then it will ask you for a phone number. And once you're done, it will now log you into ChatGPT and basically the interface looks very simple. It looks something similar to what you're looking at now. You need to also know that if it's not working for you, you might need to turn on VPN and select a country like France, Europe basically and the US because it is very active in those areas. In some parts of the world, it's still very restricted that you have to use VPN to access it. So just in case it's not working for you, try using VPN. It will definitely work because it happened to me when I was in Qatar. Now, this is is the interface on the left side you have different chats which means you can start a new chat and also all the conversations that you have with this robot will be saved on the left panel and you can later on continue the conversations you understand later why that is important here you can clear conversations at the bottom you have dark mode if I click it you see everything goes dark this is what I prefer or you can select light mode if you prefer white and here you've got open AI discord which will take you to their discord server make sure you join it you don't have to but if you're a discord person you'll find a really good community of people that are using this AI for a lot of different interesting things. And here you've got the FAQ as well, which you might find very interesting if you have some other questions you might want to ask. So these are the examples, the capabilities and limitations of ChatGPT. You can use these examples to sort of understand what ChatGPT can do for you, but also its capabilities and also limitations. What's really cool about this, I like one of the capabilities is that it can remember what the user said earlier in the conversation. And this can be that you can tell ChatGPT that six plus two is eight. And the next time you ask it a question within the same thread, it will tell you that it's eight. But if you say ChatGPT six plus two is 10, later on you ask it the question, what is six plus two? It could tell you that it's 10. So it's not that it 
it's wrong is just that you were wrong. It's almost like writing a variable when you're writing code. You get what you put in. But what I have experimented while I've been using this is that sometimes it gives you two answers, your wrong answer, and then it can also give you a description of what an actual answer is probably is the true answer. You have to keep those things in mind. Now let's go ahead and get started. So at the bottom here, you might not have seen, but there is a tab that allows you to do your inputs, to basically put your queries in, to type in anything. And this is where the magic begins. So let's just say, hi, hello, how can I help you today? And basically this is how it works. And at this point, if I want to switch this conversation, let's say I want to use this for poem writing, I can change the name of this chat and say poem writing. Let's say I want to write a poem for my little sister. Her birthday is coming up and she likes bicycles. Her favorite color is orange. And she is right now in college studying physics. Let's just assume. So I would say, please write write me a poem for my little sister who is in her first year of college. Her favorite color is orange. She loves bicycles and watches Game of Thrones. She is also studying physics. So I want to write something beautiful for her birthday. I just give chat GPT and you wait a little bit and it will start writing the poem within the context of what I gave it. So as you can see, a little beautiful poem that is within the context of what I wanted. It kept in mind all these parameters that I gave it to write something that is personable. And this is one example of what you can do. Or I can also actually create a script using ChatGPT. So let me just ask it within or create a new chat here and say, please write me a script for a YouTube video about the best 10 ways for making money online and then I pass the query and they just have to wait for ChatGPT to come up with it. There we go. It's writing. I just have to relax. And now after a few seconds, I now have a full on script. I can just take that, record a video and put it on YouTube. I mean, it's beautiful. Typically creators spend a lot of time or sometimes hiring people to write scripts for them. Whereas now I don't actually don't have to do that anymore. I just use ChatGPT. Another example we can use this for is writing code. So I am a trader and I always come up with a ideas for trading or strategies, but I might not know how to automate it or turn it into code that is easy to execute. So I can ask ChatGPT, for example, that I want to write some code in a language called PineScript. So first I'll ask ChatGPT, can you code in PineScript? There you go. I'm able to code in PanScript, which is a programming language used to build custom studies and indicators and on and on and on. It knows exactly what it is and it's giving me an actual example below showing me that, hey, I can do this. So now I can actually give it a scenario where it has to write some code for me. So let's say I want to create an indicator that will alert me whenever the price of gold has dropped by 6%. I would say using PineScript, write me an indicator that notifies me via email whenever the price of gold has dropped by 0.6% and RSI relative strength index is below 30. There you go. It's writing code. Now, basically, we now have a script in code in PanScript written completely by AI. All I have to do is to copy this and paste it into PanScript in TradingView. And I have to just replace this email, word email, into an actual email address. And then after I execute it, I will be getting notifications whenever these conditions that I gave it are met. I mean, how beautiful that is. I can't thank this enough. It's amazing. Another way to use ChatGPT is something as simple as a recipe, okay? How to make make carrot cake, but gluten free. It's writing me a recipe for a gluten free carrot cake. And now I have an entire instruction of how to do a carrot cake. So you might say that, oh, you can also find this on Google. But the difference here is that if you had to search how to make a gluten-free carrot cake on Google, you would find a whole list of different websites of where you can find that information. And you have to click yourself which page you want to trust the most, which website and what have you. Whereas this, you're just getting purely the information of what you need. So I think this will be a game changer even for advertising and how humans now interact with the internet. The next 
example that I would like to use before we test the limitations is let's say I want to send a special message to invite someone that I like for a date to watch a movie with me. How can I do that? Let's write something. I'll give chat GPT what I want and then I'll also give it some parameters to include. And this is where sometimes I think having a programming background a little bit helps because you are good at identifying or explaining things in a much more modular way than just combining everything into one. So you can break it into different small categories, which makes it easier for chat GPT to give you better answers. So I'll say I want to invite my crash to go out on a movie date with me and watch Avatar write me a fun message that I can send her. She is tall, looks great in a brown dress, has brown eyes, whatever. I'm just coming up with things likes popcorn and yoga and she's from Mississippi. I don't even know if that's how I write Mississippi. Even that spelling is okay because chat GPT will be fine. So I'll give you the message. I misspelled crash deliberately and you can see there that it fixed it for me. Instead of crash with C-R-A-S-H, it actually fixed it into C-R-U-S-H. I hope you're having a great day. I was thinking about going to see Avatar at the movie theater this weekend and I really want to share the experience with you. I heard it's an epic sci-fi adventure. I know you love popcorn, so it's a perfect movie for us. So you can see it can combine movies with popcorn, actually, because it knows that those two goes hand in hand. Plus, I have a feeling that you look amazing in a brown dress or whatever color you choose to wear. <laughs> it's trying to be careful. Your brown eyes will sparkle in the theater and I can't wait to see them light up during the movie. <laughs> That's kind of cheesy. So what do you say? Would you like to join me on a movie day to watch Avatar? We can also do some yoga after the movie to relax. I know you're from Mississippi and I'm looking forward to learning more about your home state. Let me know if you're interested and we can plan the details. Take care. Okay, so you can look any message that you receive. If you don't like the answer, you can click on regenerate response or you can be more direct and tell it exactly how you want it. So you can say, can you make it more edgy and fun? So here I want a much more edgy version, not what it gave me before. So let's see what is going to come up. Some queries are very quick and some of them take time. And sometimes you might get this error because there are millions of people right now using this chat bot. So if this happens, you just have to regenerate response or refresh the page and it might work for you. Yeah, here we go. Hey, here is a revised version of the message with a more edgy and fun tone. So let's see the difference. This time it says, I've got a wild idea for a date. Let's go see Avatar and have a movie marathon. I know you're into yoga, so we can stretch out during the intermission and get ready for the next adventure. Plus, I heard the popcorn at the theater is top notch, so we can snag on that while we watch. I see you in your brown dress or whatever you're feeling like rocking. Oh, I see. So it changed this into or whatever you feel like rocking to make it a little bit more edgy. And those beautiful brown eyes of yours, you're always so graceful and elegant and have a feeling you have more stunning movies, blah, blah, blah. So this is a difference and you can even ask for more. You can say, okay, look, she doesn't like the word graceful. Can you change that part? It will rewrite the message, but this time around, it will be careful to not use the word graceful. Like I say now, it will find something else to put on there. Okay, so this is a good example of how you can use it for writing like personalized messages and things like that. One more thing is let's test the limits of chat GPT and especially one that I found out for myself. So I was trying to write a script for the FTX video on my other crypto channel, Crypto Hustle. And I asked chat GPT for some information and what it told me was a little disappointing. So let's say, do you know anything about FTX? So yeah, it knows what FTX is, but if I ask for much more recent information about FTX, it will not give it to me because of one reason. Okay, so I'll say, give me latest news on FTX. And this is one of the main limitations that I found so far. It's telling you that the information that it has is basically limited to how the internet or the snapshot of the internet as it existed in 2021. Anything in 2022? Nope. It was basically all the information that was on the internet up until September 2021. It works based on that snapshot of the internet. Anything else new? Nope. You cannot find it. And that is first limitation. Another limitation is when it comes to more specific things like people, or companies, if you ask for really detailed information, it might not be able to give it to you. So let me ask it and say, who is Gray Gillespie? 
So on things that it's not really sure about, especially people or private information related to people or companies, it just doesn't like to give all that info away to just tell you that, oh, I don't know that, I don't know how to do that, I know that. But its job is basically to just be helpful to you for things that are safe and things that are relevant in general context, but not so private. It might make some mistakes on certain areas, especially in math also. It's one of the areas that I found that could make easy mistakes or silly mistakes. So if you're doing math and you're asking chat GPT, I wouldn't recommend it for advanced mathematics. But for like very basic concept math, yeah, for sure you can do it, but you don't want to be doing your calculus and stuff on chat GPT. You might get it wrong. So thank you guys for watching. And I just wanted to show you how chat GPT works and how it can be used. It's an incredible piece of technology. I mean, what you can do with this is amazing. You can basically write a children's book using chat GPT and publish it and sell. You can write a movie. You can give it characters and you can be imaginative. I think the limitation is on you because this can execute whatever you have in your mind and basically add some source to it. You also have to apply yourself to it to make the most out of it. I think that's how artificial intelligence will evolve. It will be based on human beings doing what they do. And then you, on the other hand, it's basically you're limited to the amount of creativity that you have, right? The technology is only there to help. Okay, I'll see you on the next video. Remember to subscribe and like this video. My next video is going to be crazy. It will be an adventure that I did using ChatGPT. So to see that, subscribe. See you guys in the next video. Peace.